What do we have? Development block. Okay. New ships. Close test 13.5. Captains. Update 13.5 is approaching fast. Wait, what, what is... Wait, what, what, what patch are we on right now? We are on 13.3. And uh, this month 13.4, so it's next month. Next month patch. Isn't this month 13.4? Isn't it this month 13.4? So it's next month 13.5, right? Yeah, this month 13.4, next month... What, you want, you're spamming a lot of numbers now. <laughs> I'm looking at all the latest... Yeah, 13.4 this month, 13.5 next month. Okay. Anyway. So next month. Spanish cruiser... Almirante Ocuendo. Okay. Looks kind of familiar. The U is silent in Ocuendo. O Ocuendo? Ocuendo. A heavy cruiser, which is the embodiment of the Super Washington Cruiser design. Okay. Do you like guns? If so, Almirante Okendo may be the ship for you. Oh boy, they're doing this shit again in these dead blocks. A powerful main battery on 12 203s. Heavy broadside and good damage per minute. Ultimate fire mode. The guns become substantially more accurate at the cost of a longer reload when activated. While she is quite <laughs> like this. While she's quite fast for a cruiser, there's significant downside. A vulnerable citadel means the captain will have to be wary of enemy battleships. Okay. So uh gameplay wise, Okenda Shans is ambush predator. Great accuracy. Okay, swiftly removed from view. So ambush ship. Interesting. So what hull is this? Is it Andalusia? It looks kind of like the Andalusia hull. I mean, that would be the obvious, another Spanish ship they copied. There's the Andalusian. Oh, they're not doing the super fisheye this time, so we can actually compare the ships pretty well. They're doing a bit of the fisheye. Uh, it's almost a full copy-paste. Except for the turrets. Turrets are different. But the hull is... Yeah, the hull is completely identical. Everything is identical. Ambush ship sold in the current meta? Yeah, I know. They're gonna slap flags on it later for sure, but... Yeah, okay, so it's it's a straight-up copy of the Andalusia hull. The turrets, though... Those look almost... British? Thank you, Nyebaha, for the 59. Hmm. What is Albemarle? They're, they're two or threes. Oh yeah, look, it's Albemarle. It's it's Albemarle turrets slapped on an Andalusia hull. Yeah, it's guaranteed these things. Yeah, they, you like you look everything is exactly the same. Yeah, it's Albemarle turrets. Proper healthy glow. Are you using something skin regime wise? I always get told I look tired. Not trying to be weird, chat. It's just a question. I mean, moisturize your skin. I was really bad at it. But then my wife is really good at it. And she always, like, tells me to moisturize my skin. Also, if you can find any under eye cream, it doesn't need to be particularly expensive. But it helps you look less fucking wasted in the morning. <laughs> I recommend it strongly. Okay. Anyway, beauty tips with flaw, truly. But yeah, no. Uh, the common mistake a lot of dudes do, including what I did for a really long time of my life, is you wash your face with way too harsh of stuff. Like, you, you use way too harsh of a chemicals to wash your face. I mean, the joke about having one bottle that you use for your, your ass, your hair, your face, your, your dishes your body <laughs> that joke is actually kind of accurate when it comes to dudes uh so having something a bit more gentle to wash your face with and uh moisturizing afterwards 
10 out of 10 tips. It also helped me get rid of all zits. Because I kept having zits. Like, my parents said, oh, once you grow out of being a teenager, the zits will disappear. Well, that was a fucking lie. That was the biggest lie I've ever been told. The zits didn't go anywhere. They only started disappearing once I started moving away from, like, super harsh face, face washes into much more gentle stuff. Mm. Okay, well, uh, we have some spam bot. <laughs> we have some spam bot. Let me ban that guy real fast. There you go, boom. There we go. Toxic flaw is now gentle. Mm. Mm. Well, that's my wi wife's two cent tricks. Anyway, let's see what the stats are. So, this is a Andalusia. Probably straight up copied Andalusia. What kind of armor does Andalusia have? 40 millimeters. Oh yeah, this thing had the weird layers. 40, 110, 30. You blow the fuck up if you get broadside. But uh, angled, you don't get sit too much through there. The turtleback is a complete joke though. It's like, you know that originally the turtleback looked like this. I guarantee originally when Wargaming made this ship it looked like this. And then they realized this ship is way too good for a tier 9 ship. Where There's no way people are going to... 3xp to tier 10 if the ship looks like this so they 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 did this <laughs> and it became the most useless turtle bike in the world it's literally so low it's never going to protect you against shit sorry turtle bike sorry icebreaker sorry i'm still drinking my morning coffee okay icebreaker not turtle bike yeah you're right you're right you're right okay let's see Hit points, 48.3, plating 25, so yeah, standard armor. Uh, 4x3, 203s, firing range 17.6. AP 45, 814. Wait, 814. So it's... Wait, did it give it Albemarle guns? Uh, I'm sorry, they gave it Albemarle guns, but did it give it Albemarle shells as well? Oh, they did. It's Albemarle shells as well. Those are not that good. Reload 12 seconds. Faster at reverse. Your reload is pretty good though. For for 12? For 12. Hmm. Okay, alternate fire mode gives makes you reload 80 seconds, but but it gives you minus 20% dispersion. That's a lot of dispersion. Holy shit. That's a strong goddamn bot. If you just want to take one pot shot, either to smash a DD who's about to go dark, or ambush someone, that's strong. That's going to be really good dispersion. Provided your shells don't land short, or you get the lock-on bug, or whatever, but... And that's Conde FT. Mm. Interesting. Hello, Beastikaza. Hmm. Interesting. Air strike for two torpedo tubes, two X3, eight cam probes that hit pretty hard. Hmm. I mean, the problem though, the problem with this ship is that they made the sea, the the engine break on it all the time. Wasn't it the Andalusia that had constant engine breaks from HE? I think it was the Andalusia that had that issue. So if you're going to have the same hull, you're going to have that same weakness. I remember that, because I grinded the Andalusia in ranked. And I remember every time someone shot at me, every time, especially when I fought the Kronstadt, and Kronstadt shot HE at me, it didn't matter where the HE hit, because the Citadel has, like, no HE splash protection at all. That's that's an actual parameter in World of Warships. Like, sometimes the, the, the ships have different levels of splash protection against the HE. And Andalusia has basically zero. So HE shells hitting anywhere on your ship would splash through the hull and break your engine. And it would happen all the time in the Andalusia, up to the point that I think I literally spec yeah, I spec last stand on it for rank, because it was unplayable without last stand, because it would break all the time. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Timoteus, for gifting sub to Bistikaza. So, that, if, it, if it has the exact same hull, provided they don't do some premium ship tweaking, uh, it's going to have the exact same weakness as well. So, need to keep that in mind. Need to keep that in mind. 
Let's see. Uh, hey, yay. 4.6k. 4.6k, my yay. Wait, what? Why is it four point why does it have Italian AA? Italian AA range, what? Andalusia has a six. Isn't this Spanish? Why does it suddenly have Italian range? What? Are they giving it Italian AA guns? Six X ninety millimeter guns. Yeah, they're giving it 90 millimeter guns. Hmm. Sheesh. Okay. Why did it give it... Did they quote something about the Italian? Developed in a Spanish naval yard? Did I miss something that has something to do with Italy here? No? So it's a Spanish hull with, it's an Andalusia Spanish hull with Albemarle British guns. And for some reason they slapped Italian 90mm AA guns on it. Why? They didn't even mention that. Okay. That sucks. That really sucks because that, that AA is basically unusable. Maximum speed 36, turning circle 790, is that the same as this thing is? Yeah, actually turn slightly better, but speed is, I think, the same. Yeah, speed is the same. Surface detect 14. Yeah, that's the same, I think. So 11.7 with build. You get DCP, heal, hydro, or defensive, but... Defensive is obviously a no-go with this this AA range. Like it's what what the fuck are you kidding? Of course you're gonna run hydro, uh, fighter or spotter. Obviously you're gonna run spotter on this thing. Okay. Weird. I mean, gun-wise it's interesting, but what what we have literally designed here is an ambush cruiser. With 11.7 conceal, which in the current state of World of Warships, it's is roughly battleship conceal. Like that, that's what they give battleships that come out in 2024. They give battleships 12k conceal. So this thing basically has battleship conceal, but it has garbage AA with garbage range, despite still having like air detectability of 10.5 without the build. So it's still gonna be what 8k or something. And you're gonna and plus of course there's uh, subs as well. So, you're playing an ambush cruiser with an engine that breaks, vulnerable citadel, no AA to defend yourself, and your only real gimmick here is, well, the accuracy. Huh. I don't know. I don't know, man. The torps are placed in the back? Yeah, they're here. Wait, this thing has... Didn't this thing have four torps? Yeah, 2x4, 16. This thing is 2x3, so you lose a torp as well. Okay. Why? 8km, 62. 16.6. 8km, 16.3, 62. So the exact same torps, but they just removed one for some reason. Huh. I don't know. I, I'm not exactly sold. Like, the Benjo Dispersion is nice, but you're still throwing Albemarle shells. So, yeah. Is, is Albemarle somehow like. Okay, let me check. Uh, cruiser? Oh. Where, where does Albemarle shells rank here? AP. Penetration. Let's see. Let's see if you're ambushing, maybe 14, 15k. Where's Albemarle? Albemarle guns with Albemarle shells. Am I blind? No, it can't be down here. Uh, 
Where the fuck? Okay, let me organize it like this instead so I can find it. Albemarle, 152 millimeters. Okay, 152. So your AP pin at 15 kilometers is here. That's the same as Numancia? A Targo. That's a Targo pen. So you, you have a Targo AP pen. Okay. Ruin has like 30 millimeters more pen than 14 kilometers. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know. Like the actual real punishers like Tallinn have 100 millimeters more pen than you do at, at 14. So yeah, I don't really no it's a t9 as well and it's kind of losing the most tier eights in pen i don't know man that doesn't not not really this ship isn't really uh winning me over yet we'll see what it becomes but so far it seems like an andalusia hall with a mismatch of uk turrets and italian aa and not really i know Almerta Kenda shines as an ambush predator. Great accuracy and a broadside power. I mean, you have one extra gun, so you got 12 guns instead of 9. Play behind friendly destroyers and shoot control of key areas and utilize your speed to destroy enemy cruisers from unexpected positions. Utilize your speed to destroy. From unexpected, are there any unexpected positions with subs and series in the game? I don't really know about that one. It was what 36 knots. So, how fast is, is 36 knots? The same speed as Andalusia. Hmm. Same speed. It's half a knot faster than Takao. Atago, that is. Yeah, it doesn't have any speed boost either, so it's... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I'm not exactly sold on this thing. I'm not exactly sold in anyway. Nothing here seems particularly good. Like, the dispersion is the best part of it. The 20% the, the dispersion, but... That, that's it. Not very convinced. Okay. British aircraft carrier Theseus, tier 8. Colossus class. Okay. Yada, 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 yada. Somewhat similar to Indomitable. Indomitable. Was Indomitable the ship that was hilariously busted? And then I made a video on it and they nerfed the hell out of it. Was that indomitable? Oh yeah, it was. Back when I still was a CC. Back when I still bothered to play carrier. Yeah, yeah, here it was. Indomitable. Here it is. I used to, Back when I still bothered playing carriers until I just gave up on those shitters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much... This, this ship was so dumb. It did like... It was so... It was like complete HE spam arch. <laughs> what? Carrier gameplay in a nutshell. Yeah, no, I remember this. And it, even back then, people tried to convince me that carriers were some sort of high skill, incredible fucking class. It was so fucking stupid. It was so. F 25 fires, by the way. I remember this shit, man. What a fucking dumb class. Oh, Fulmer, you should, you should play carriers before you judge them. They, they're really difficult. You, you should play them. Trust. But yeah, that was the dumb fucking thing that they nerfed after that. It's funny though, it's much weaker than the current iteration of carriers we have in the game. Like, it was considered busted then, and then you compare it to something like Eagle, <laughs> that exists right now, and Eagle is like fucking two times the magnitude of power at a different tier. It's like, what the fuck? Okay, so what does this thing then? 
He has torpedo bombers. Okay. He has torpedo bombers and skip bombers. Wait, what the fuck? Only two small squadrons, high speed survivable aircraft. That sounds like really fun to play against. That sounds like really fun. That sounds like really fun to play against. High speed survivable aircraft. My favorite combination. Carrying a large number of torpedoes per drop, though each torpedo deals low damage individually. But they all have individual flood chances, which means your chance to cause a flood is really fucking high. One high damage skip bomb per plane. These bombs have the unique feature of being extremely accurate in first skip, only becoming very accurate on the third skip. Yeah, I mean, I wish the third skip was hard to aim though, but you gave them a big flat bar exactly where that they're gonna land. Oh, that is an average plane regeneration time. The fact that there is a plane regeneration time is such a sign of brain damage to begin with. The lack of secondaries and long range AA. <laughs> okay. Wow, this sounds like fucking awful to deal with. So it has shit AA, so you want to focus it if you're the enemy receiver, provided you can fly all the way around and find it. Only does 25 knots, that's a good change of pace. Uh, 182 knots cruising speed, 217. Size of attacking flight 2, aircraft per squadron 4. Okay. Torpedoes in payload 2. Wait, aircraft is per squadron. Fast, high hit points, yeah. Hit points 2670. How high is that? That seems pretty fucking high, doesn't it? Torpedoes in payload 2. So wait, how many is it dropping? It's dropping 4? Four? 4 torps that do 3.6k, but they got all these modifiers to it. But still, 3.6k x4. Arming distance 282 meters. Isn't that right on your fucking broadside? 300 meters in World of Warships is like, fuck all. Isn't that right on top of you almost? That's like right on top of you, right? It's really short, isn't it? Strapping two torpedoes to a sea hornet? <laughs> yeah, don't ask me. I don't know how they managed to make it so that each plane drops two torpedoes. Like what? The torpedo was literally mounted under the hull for, for stability and also because it weighed a lot for a plane to carry. But somehow these fucking planes are carrying double torps. I don't is there a picture of them? I wish you could see the planes with the fucking two torps loaded on them. That's interesting. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, skip bombers, 182, 217, says we're taking flight 2, aircraft per squadron 6. Okay, bombs in bay load 1. So you drop two bombs at once. And they smash for 13.9 with 68 with the armor pen. Chance of fire 79. So if one of these touches your DD, if two of these touch your DD, you're eating what? 5k per bomb. Isn't it the third of the pen you take? Jesus, 4.4k 4. 4 or something. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it, like... The Wargaming keeps waffling on about how they're going to do another rework and how they need to change the way carriers work and yada yada yada. In the meantime, they're just sending out new carriers into the game like, Oh yeah, this design isn't really working. It's kind of a shit design actually. We really need to rework all of it. I, I agree with you player base. Uh, this is really a poor design. Here's, a here's another one. Eh? Another one. 
Here's another one. Here's a, take another one. Take another one. Like, the, I've said it before. People need to stop listening to what Wargaming says and look at what they're actually doing. Because they tend to be two vastly different things. They tend to be two vastly different things. What Everything they write out in their press releases and, and announcements and all of this, it's usually complete horseshit compared to what they're actually doing. They're talking about how they're listening and how they want to change the carriers and yada yada yada. In the meantime, they're pumping out new carrier premiums every single patch. Same with subs. They talk about how the subs aren't where they want them to be and yada yada. We got new subs coming out all the time. So ignore what they say, look at what they do. Wargaming is feeding us dog shit while promising us high-end fine dining, basically. Oh, Johnston's new model. Okay. Well, it looks very much like a Fletcher. It looks nice. Uh, what's new about the model? It kind of looks like uh, black, doesn't it? What? I don't have uses black on this gun. Oh shit! Well, Chang Mu also has the hull that, or the superstructure, doesn't it? Oh, let's change. That's kind of close. Um. I guess they, they put another superstructure on another ship. I mean, it's a Fletcher, though. It's not going to look that different, so it's fine. It's fine. Like, it's one of the cases where copy-paste is fine, because it was literally Fletcher class, and the Fletcher was hilariously mass-produced because it was such a successful ship. Anyway. Uh, French destroyer, l'aventurier? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Adventure. We'll just call it adventure. So the adventure. This is the model of the adventure. Wow, those turrets look really weird on the hull, but... Wow, it just looks like they slapped the turret from something else on it. Interesting. Did I mention that Thesis never had sea hornets? Bro, historical accuracy has in no way been relevant to this game for many, many, many years. It is what it is. I mean, it was already... It was questionable when the game came out to begin with. What level of historical accuracy are they aiming for? But every year it's just getting less and less relevant to anything they talk about. We're adding several clones. Yeah, we saw. Oh, you mean you're adding more clones? We're adding several clones of existing ships for concept testing purposes. Colorado 2. A clone of battle, American Battleship Colorado. No way. North Carolina 2. A clone of... <laughs> like, if you ever wonder how much respect do they do this developer have for their player base and their intelligence, you just need to read this. Colorado 2. A clone of American Battleship Colorado. North Carolina 2. A clone of... <laughs> Iowa 2. A clone of... <laughs> Yeah, holy shit. Interesting. But Admiral gets an, its own nest. The Seven Provincian. Okay. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the Seven Provincian 2. Interesting. It's just a copy pasta? I mean, assume so. Interesting. I assume these are just pastas? No, they have slightly different airstrikes. They're pastas. But look, this is different. Airstrike is different. 55 second reload on the airstrike. Avail available flights too. And this one has 40 and available flights too. And with different maximum ranges and stuff. Okay. This one has 128 millimeter guns. Also this one has Yeah, no, they're, they're trying. PCP, standard consumables. I mean, we're gonna we're probably gonna get premium versions of all of these copy pastas. I feel like they're being more and more uh, transparent about the fact that they're adding pastas to the game. It is what it is. <laughs>